Hi everyone. So in the last video, we saw the creation of activities or the addition of activities, but I left something in suspense, which is some settings related to activity, like type of activity or maybe type of duration and then your percentage completion type. So in this particular video, we'll be discussing in detail about those things. So for that, I would like to open the detailed view. So first of all, moving to the activity type, you can see there are several types of activities. The first one, let us start with start milestone. See, milestones are just some achievements like start milestone and finish milestone. They are not consuming any kind of duration. Like if I say starting of the foundation. So that means it won't consume any number of days. Starting of the foundation will be a start milestone with zero number of days. It is just embarking the start of a certain activity. Similarly, if I say finish milestone and if I say finishing of the first roof slab, okay, so that means the first roof slab has been finished. It won't consume any number of day. It is just a milestone, just some achievement. So milestones are used in the project usually for lump sum type of contracts where the clients have certain kind of restrictions that once you complete this milestone, then we will release your this percentage of payment. For example, if you complete third floor slab, then the client will release 30% of the payment. If you complete the 10th floor slab, then the client will release your 60% of the payment. So there you will add your milestones like finish milestone you will add completion of the 10th floor slab okay so i hope start and finish milestone is created next is task dependent and resource dependent activity so what happens is usually several activities most of the activities i would say in primavera p6 they are task dependent they won't depend on resources because resources will be available to you for most of the time suppose for example if i say for concreting, you are using concrete pumps and some vendor is giving you concrete pumps only for Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. That means on Thursday, Friday and Saturday, you cannot do your concreting. Then that particular activity of concreting will be resource dependent because you cannot complete your concreting on balance days of Thursday, Friday and Saturday. Rather, Certain activity for, for which you have the equipment, you have the resources available throughout the week, those activities will be task dependent, which means the calendar of your activity will be based on the project calendar or the activity calendar. But if the calendar is based on some resource calendar, then in that particular case, the activity will become resource dependent. You will have to make a separate calendar for that resource and you will have to assign that activity with that resource calendar if your activity is resource dependent. Okay, next is level of effort. Level of effort is nothing, but it might consume some number of days like one day, 0.5 day, two day. But these activities should not be a part of critical path because these are supportive activities. Like you have some customer meetings, you have some project management brainstorming session. So these are some supportive activities which should not be in the critical path at all. Okay. Last but not the least is WBS summary. So this is some special type of activity not much used in Primavera where you can assign some separate specific resources to the activities. So might be we'll be discovering more about this activity when we'll, when we'll be discussing about the resources in Primavera P6. So this is all about the activity type. Next, moving on to the percentage completion type. We have three types of percentage completion. One is duration, another is physical, another is units. So what is duration completion type see duration completion type is for example if i say that a certain activity will take uh, maybe 10 number of days okay you can see here foundation is taking 10 number of days so if i say that it is duration dependent type duration completion type that means after completion of fifth day the 50 percent of the activity should get completed that means your activity will be uh, quantities of the activity will be getting completed in a uniform fashion based on the duration of the activity. That means every day you have to consume, you have to do 10% of the foundation. That means after fifth day, 50% of the activity should get completed, which you definitely know that in construction, it's very, very rarely possible. So in construction, most of the activities are physical percentage completion type. That means irrespective of the duration, your work will go on. Might be possible that an activity is of 10 days. In five days, only 40% of the work is being completed. Or after completion of five days, only 10% of the completion work is getting completed. So physical means 
the activity is not at all dependent on the duration it is dependent on the work accomplished or the quantities accomplished okay next is units so units this type of activity will be dependent on your resources like suppose you have you have fixed that 100 man hours of the labor is required for a certain activity then if 50 man hours is completed then 50 percent of the activity is completed which is also rarely possible because you have seen that whatever you plan for labor you need more and more amount of labor to complete the work so units is resources dependent physical is quantities dependent and duration is time dependent so most of the activities will be physical percentage completion type so let us see the difference in the two now see if you go to the status and if you choose the type of activity to be duration type okay and if you go to the status the original is 10 and if i say that the duration completed is let's say 50 percent started we'll have to click so let us say 50 percent has been completed so if you make it enter then you will see that the remaining duration will automatically get five days which might not be the case if it is a physical type of activity since 50 percent of the time has elapsed so it is saying that the activity is 50 percent completed okay vice versa if i change the remaining duration to six and click on enter then the duration will be 40 percent by default okay since remaining is six so that means 40 percent is elapsed so this should not be the case for most of the activities now we'll go to general and we will change to physical so we'll go to status and we'll change the uh, percentage to again 50 percent and we'll click on enter now you see that the remaining duration is not changed Instead of making it to five, it is not at all changing this. Okay. So this is what physical thing is. Similarly, if we change it to, let's say 30, then also you see the remaining duration and completion duration is not changing. You will have to manually give your inputs here in case of physical duration type, physical completion type. Similarly for units also, you can check this. It will be the same. You'll have to enter manually only. Okay. Next is. Now see, talking about the duration type, if you see, there are four types of duration types like fixed duration and units, fixed duration and units slash time, fixed durations and fixed units per time. So these are four types. The first two are not at all resource driven. The last two are resource driven because it is not involving the durations at all. So the duration is not fixed, whereas in this, the durations are fixed and last two are dependent on resources so see this we will understand in depth when we'll be talking about the assigning of resources because these are dependent on your uh, budgeted uh, units then budgeted units per time and your duration so we will understand this in depth there but right now you should understand that last two are resource driven whereas first two are not resource driven and in this particular case the first one you have your budgeted units fixed that means what is the units like for example what is the resource like for for example material or your labor or your equipment they are fixed like labor is fixed in the sense 500 units of labor is fixed Similarly, duration is fixed that it will be available for 10 days, but your units per time is not fixed. That means productivity is not fixed. But in second case, you see that the productivity of the resources is fixed, whereas units is not fixed that how much resource will be available to you. It is not fixed here. Only your units is fixed that how much resource will be available to you is fixed that's it what will be their productivity for how much long they will be available it is not at all fixed similarly here your productivity is only fixed that your labor will be doing this much of the work in this much of the time but for how much time your labor will be deployed this is not at all fixed and what will be the total work that the labor has to do this is also not fixed so i hope you get a little bit of gist anyway in depth we'll be understanding 
by taking real examples of the resources when we'll be dealing with the resources video in the further lectures so i hope the settings of activity are clear to you now so then other will be activity calendar which we'll be understanding later on we'll be modifying the calendars we'll be assigning different calendars to different activities and resources in later videos so right now that's it for the video thank you everyone stay tuned in the next video we'll be understanding the relationships in the activities